Hello, hello, welcome to Wesley Gaming Channel. And finally, there's uh, some uh, content that I can uh, bring to you guys about uh, another celebrating the woman of royal, the Musketeer Draft Challenge. Oh, there, there is actually two Musketeer here, one at this position and one at the challenge position. And I think a Musketeer is really a solid card. And the rewards are really pretty cool also. Let's just jump into some uh, battles. Let's kick up, kick up a challenge with a win. Let's go. Ice Golem because it is a solid tank. Lightning can kill a lot of things. But Furnace or Goblin Heart? I think I will say a Goblin Heart. Oh, there is the Musketeer that we are aiming for. Let's go. <coughs> Looks like our opponent is giving us giant. I'm actually suspecting the go opponent has golem or maybe Pekka. Can I cut giant? Giant to absorb the ice spirit. Battle ram. Bandit? Oh. Inferno tower is absolutely what we, we don't want to mess around with hope that the musketeer will clean up the minion fast let's go to tank okay as long as musketeer still alive it will take down the furnace this is just juicy this is just thumbs up man That's why I, I told you that the Musketeer is really a solid card. Royal GG. Oh wow. I just want to took it took out the Royal GG as soon as possible. But I think the tough thing is uh, I don't have any counter against the Inferno Dragon. Skelly Barrel to absorb some damage. Let's see if the Skelly Barrel... Okay, the Skelly Barrel took out the whole furnace. This is really, really, really juicy for us right now. I think I will set up another Goblin Hut. I think the most annoying thing is the Royal GG. There's not much that I can uh, do against the Royal GG. Okay, I think this should be GG. Thumbs up. Thanks. And let's just jump into the second matchup real quick. But I don't know how come the challenge actually lasts for 4 days, which is actually ridiculous. Musketeer, of course. Maybe Princess, because Princess is uh, pretty tough to defeat if... Uh, but x or Mortal. I think I will say x bow. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. Nah, I'm not good at uh, two cards. But elite barbarian is absolutely uh, unuseful in my opinion. Golem, are you serious? X bow. Snowball ready. 
snowball. Okay. This should be tower down. Really barbarian for the golem. Okay. Okay, the hex bow helped me to took out the dun goblin. So this is a complete success. Thumbs up. Snowball is absolutely MVP, I think. But how come that he got so much Elisa? Oh my god, I missed the X bow. No, I missed the X bow. Man, this is just silly, man. I missed the X bow. Oh my god, I miss again. But I don't want to waste the X bow. Snowball. Oh man, this is really bad for me right now. I misplaced the goblin again. I think he does have fireball. Okay, just too late. <laughs> so thumbs up. Lucky my, my uh, crucial mistake doesn't cost me the game. Because it's still a uh, pretty tough because you at least need to get to uh, 8 wins to get a emote. Prince? But Warbreaker is definitely really solid gun right now. Snowball maybe? And... Maybe a uh, spirit of actually I think I should have picked a fire spirit because fire spirit can deal a lot of AOE area of effect damage to opponent. Looks like we got an, the the musketeer again back to back in a uh, three games. Pekka, are you serious, Pekka? Then I'm not going to be easy on you. Oh, nice wizard placement. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, no, wizard, no. Oh my god. This is not look looking good for me right now. Can the hey. I was just want to say can the Mega Knight took out Oh man But anyway I must comment on my old, old opponent for the for the good wizard placement What? Oh man, this guy actually got back out again. <coughs> but now if I can took out the his uh 
Taika my Megane would be a OP right now. So let's see if I can take out the Taika fast enough. Oh man, 11 seconds until a double elixir. Come on. Definitely going to make Megane right now. Because now he don't have a he don't have a Pekka in the cycle. But now he does have Pekka in cycle again. I really don't know how I'm going to win the matchup. This is ridiculous. Oh man, I missed the Pekka. Oh man, really really tough match. But I think this is my chance right now. What? Oh man. Oh wow Oh man, I should have snowballed the. I should have snowballed the, the wall breaker. Really, really unfortunate match, but epic matchup. I would concede the defeat. Scummy. Golem. Actually, Ice Golem can counter Scummy, but in the situation, I think. Scummy is better because it can. It can kill a lot of things actually. Rocket. It can kill the cannon card, it can kill the knight. And I even have the zap in the our hand. Okay, five Elisa advantage. I would I would like that. But I'm afraid opponent has a lot. Wall breaker connecting, nice. I think I shouldn't zap. Yeah, I think I shouldn't zap the dumb. My opponent is literally having a hog rider cycle, which is quite absurd. Wall breaker. Oh man, I forgot he got fireball. Oh man. Because I I picked the rocket. But now I got one one tower and a uh, half tower advantage. Which is a pretty solid. Get ready if anything happen, no. That's wizard.
I think I'll just try to go for the 3 crown right now. Because I got the skeleton army in the cycle. Which is really OP. You can see. Oh! It actually falls out of a poison. Because that's actually nothing our opponent can do. In the situation. But I must actually also beware of the incoming Hawk Rider. Oh man. Predictive poison, interesting. Okay, my tower still have a uh, 700 HP. Now actually he he doesn't have a skeleton army in cycle. So this is our big chance. Okay. The prince took out the scummy and with the his uh, last breath. Now the, it is time for du double golem. Double the fun. Oh, he actually has a... Uh, Poison and a fireball in the cycle, but that is two golem on the tower, and that is going to be a three crown. GG. Now it's a three and one, three and one. Don't they don't? Rocket and snowball really interesting. Maybe rocket. Because if I give him rocket, he will have a mirror rocket, which will be devastating. Ram Rider, interesting. By picking Ram Rider, I can do the Ram Rider challenge at one time, which is really interesting. <coughs> I think in the matchup, a golem will have a really a, a lot of defensive value. Let's see if uh, it, it come true. Put here. Oh. A fail attempt. Ram Rider. I was hoping the Ram Rider can kill the princess. Oh! That is tower down. Please kill the princess. One more hit. One more hit. Okay. Princess down. Musky alive. Yes. This is absolutely what we wanted. Now I think I can try to go fast for the tree crown again. Goblin? Oh. Golem? No, Musky, don't walk in front, Musky. Definitely a bad Musky. Oh man, I lost all my world breaker. One minute left. But I do have the rocket and the ram rider. I think I'll just go all in right now. There's no need to defend. And our act opener actually go for all in also. Yes. Man, how how come this opponent actually try to go all in when his uh, king tower is uh, already almost uh, broken? But thank you anyway for the win. Elite Barbarian, Zappis, Executioner. Goblin Barrel. Goblin Gang, okay. Mirror. 
which man I have to take it anyway Prince Prince has a more damage than the 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 Regos Bandit Bandit because Bandit can counter uh, the Prince uh, charging Monsky or Inferno Dragon really interesting choice but I think I will go with a Musky, our hero. Fireball and a Snowball will both reset the everything. So maybe Fireball. But I need to be aware if because I give our opponent the in Infernal Dragon. Tombstone. Musky. Our act opponent actually give us the the Pekka. Are you serious? But now I need definitely need to defend against the Inferno Dragon. And actually, I I notice right now I really don't have any uh, mark air counter, which is really dangerous. I only have Musketeer. The Inferno Dragon will really really be a big threat to us. I think the Fireball is definitely uh, important to help us to reset the Inferno Dragon. Fireball. But sadly, the Musketeer died. Can the Bandit charge? Okay, the Bandit charged to the tower and got 2 hits. But how our opponent got so much damage to our tower? Oh, the Rascal Girl. Royal Hawk. Because the Musky is out of cycle. Man, this is not really looking good for me. But lucky the Pekka helped me to defend. Doing a lot of work. Okay, value fireball. Perfect. Perfect. Oh man, it took out the whole Inferno Dragon and now there is a double Pekka. Musky is still dealing damage to the Inferno Dragon. Okay, Inferno Dragon down. Tree Crown coming. We are coming, man. Tree Crown. Let's go. Pekka is still tanking. Pekka is still tanking. Royal Hawk, Royal Hawk. Come on, Royal Hawk. Oh! 421 HP remaining. Oh, this, this should be a Tree Crown, man. It definitely has to be a tree crown. Fire spirit or spirit god? Maybe fire spirit. Let's try to pick fire spirit right now. Poison or lightning? Lightning? Jackies? Oh. Maybe skelly barrel. Actually, both are, I think, a pretty solid card. The wall breaker after the buff it is actually really viable actually. I think I'll not be using bomber because bomber really don't have any uh, value. Right? If let's see if I can get some lightning value. That's lightning. Okay. Force out the poison.
how come he would think of oh man what i thought the bandit would charge oh man i am actually betrayed by the bandit no bandit why 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 do you betray me bandit but that is the no matter what this still a tower down Russ, i will not take that so much tower tower damage hey but think bomber is a really solid counter to wall breaker night hey wow Man, this is so unlucky. All my bats died. Yes. Bomber is a really, really solid counter to the, the barrel. Knight? Bats? Bandit here? I think I no need to play so aggressive. I think I'll just need to defend the 30 seconds. And apply some uh, pressure when needed. And there's actually not much that our opponent can do. Um, thumbs up, thanks. <coughs> Six wins. Sorry for another for because the content is actually pretty long. But there with it, please. Two more matchup and that's over. Not rich because uh, it has a longer range and can stand behind the and can stand behind the giant skeleton. <coughs> minion or mega minion, I think a uh, buff is a uh, pretty solid. But I I'm afraid that the the minion will clean up my uh, night rich. That's why I picked the minion. Ross, I think I will also go with a uh, mega minion. You can see that that the night wish is not receiving any damage. Magic Archer for cheap damage. Oi. Oh. Really good fireball by our opponent. Minion to clean up the the bowler. Hmm. This I think is a pretty interesting matchup. No that no no damage deal in the first minute. Hey, hey, hey. My placement is just so bad. Oh, man. I think the bowler is really a big counter to me. Really well played by our opponent. He put the Wakiri at the back of the giant skeleton so that the giant skeleton will not reach the tower. Really interesting play.
I think this is the best time for balloon. Snowball. Boom. Reset. Balloon reached the tower. Nice. Oh. Magic Archer dealing significant damage to our tower opponent. Okay. One more matchup, guys. Until the egg win. Just bear with me one more matchup. One, one, one more matchup. 10k gold. Interesting. Oh, Royal Recruit or? Both are really solid card. Maybe Royal Recruit. Lumberjack, of course. Guards. Oh. I would say that this matchup is really, really interesting matchup. Because I think both of us uh, don't have a really good winning condition. Although I got a Hawk Rider, but I don't think it will be useful. Oh. Splitting Elite Barbarian is definitely a good move to play. Kill, maybe? Kill? Oh! Tornado, are you serious? This actually makes my job much, much, much tougher to win. Actually, I think I'm feeling a bit furious right now. Now because the King Tower is activated, I think I will take the Lightning Value. Heal maybe? Hmm, man. Now he got the Elite Barbarian, I think. Okay, Lumberjack's Rage spell will help to reach the tower. Bad lightning. But Magic Archer chip at the tower, this is what I wanted. Are you serious? Graveyard? Oh my god. No way. R. Oh man This is frustrating Oh But opponent is really well played with by heating up the graveyard until the last moment Bandit maybe Poison now I got more, more matchup to play. Oh, please bear with me now. But this is now a do or die. 
Please pray that I can win. Are you serious? Is the giant skeleton reaching my tower? What the heck? How did the giant skeleton reach my tower? Oh man, misplay by me. Actually, I intend to drop the the giant, not the, not the musketeer. Maybe I'm uh, becoming more anxious right now. But definitely a good timing to drop the, to drop the giant, to pull the giant skeleton, and to hey. Eh? No, 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 wait. What the heck? The giant skeleton reached my tower again. Are you kidding me? What on earth did just happen? Are you kidding me? Guys, I'm really, really feeling so bad right now. Okay, two hits is still acceptable. Okay, wow, thumbs up, thanks, really, 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 really intense matchup, final matchup, with uh, a lot of mistakes being done by letting the giant skeleton connect to my tower two times, and the battle ram connecting is also ridiculous, but let's just get the mask key emote, ho ho, oh. let's see, let's see, oh, Whoa, looks like the musketeer is drinking a hot toffee from his uh, shotgun. But let's change back to the meta meta 8 emotes. And let's just open up, eh? There's no reward, is it? The crown chest, let's go. Any legendary? Not even an epic. Thank you for watching and bye and peace out. I hope that you have a, a good time with your challenge and you can get to the 8 win in one attempt one attempt hope you good luck for that and remember to press the subscribe button bye and peace out